Our topic for today is about chemical reactions and creating our daily lives. So every day is a chemical reaction. You're alive now because of a host of chemical reactions taking place inside of your body all the time. So, I am Shaina Lagendab and Ori Aquino, your chemist host for today. So, Ori, what's chemical reaction for you? Well, chemical reaction for me is the transformation of chemical substances to one another. Well, you're right. Thanks for that, Ori. So, to formally start our show, we've prepared some videos for you. So, Ori, roll BTR. Do you have an idea what happened to the apple? If none, so here's an interesting fact about an apple. So an apple has millions of cells inside of it. When an apple is dropped, beaten in two, cut open, or damaged in any other way, many of those cell, cell walls or cells will be broken. The inside of the apple is now vulnerable to air or oxygen. The apple's enzymes and iron-containing phenols will react to that oxygen and as a result the inside of the apple will turn into brown Understand that video. If you don't, here's an interesting fact for you. Have you ever wondered of the chemical composition of parts? To be more technical, flatus. The exact chemical composition of human flatulence varies from one person to another based on his or her biochemistry. The bacteria inhabiting the pollen of the foods that were eaten. If the gas results from ingesting air, the chemical composition will approximate that of air. If the fart arises from digestion or bacterial production, the chemistry may be exotic. Facts consist of primarily of nitrogen, the principle of gas in air, along with significant amount of carbon dioxide. And last, a typical breakdown of the chemical composition of farts. 